Hey, I want to demonstrate this uh, gadget I got. It's uh, an X5 MD1 wireless MIDI system. It's a Bluetooth MIDI, um, and it has two pieces. <clears throat> this piece and this piece. And this one uh, connects to the MIDI out port of a MIDI controller. And from there, it gets the power and transmits uh, the MIDI messages. It doesn't transmit any audio, just MIDI messages. Um, to an iPad or an iPhone or even uh, Mac, my MacBook or my iMac, uh, anything that can receive Bluetooth MIDI and Bluetooth devices. Uh, it has another part here that plugs into this part if you also need MIDI. And I guess that's useful if you have two of these or um, uh, to connect it wirelessly to something like a synthesizer that will send messages back. Uh, and for so, but for this connecting it to the iPad now, I'm going to connect it so I can use it with GarageBand. Uh, so you don't need the uh, camera connection kit that would plug in and connect the USB cable. Um, all I need is this now. So, I, what you do is you plug it into the MIDI out port, which this uh, M Audio key station has here. Find it here. Like that, plugged in. Okay, turn it on. So you'll see that it lights up blue and flashing. That means it's ready to pair with the Bluetooth on the iPad. On the iPad, I, ha I'm op I have GarageBand open and I have a plug in uh, another app, Ravenscroft, which is a great piano um, app. And so to connect it, you go to settings and then you go to advanced here. And then you choose Bluetooth MIDI devices and you'll see it'll show up right there already. X5 MD1, ready to be paired, not connected. And you just press it, it's connected. And that's it, it's connected. And you can now use this as your MIDI controller wirelessly so I have nothing connected directly to the iPad no no uh, connection kit just that and it's wireless so there's very little lo latency I'm finding which is good I think it's a good product. I'll put the link in the description. It's the X5 MD1 Bluetooth. And I uh, hope this helps. It's pretty easy to set up and connect.